From the stock preparation plant, the fibres continue their journey to the paper machine, where we dilute them down to less than 1%. Then it enters the head box of the forming section, where we spray a fine jet of fibre onto a forming fabric. That's why we call it the wet end. Then we remove the water through ceramic foils and then powerful suction boxes that use vacuum to remove the water. In this 10 to 20 metre section, the water content will drop from nearly 100% to less than 80%. You'll suddenly see that that sheet of paper loses its sheen and we call that the wet line and that's where the sheet of paper has started to form. At the end of the press section, the paper web still has a moisture content of around 50%. So we need to remove this water through heating the paper web and we do that by placing it onto steam heated cylinders that are heated to a temperature of around 130 degrees C. At the end of this process, the paper has gone from 50% to around 8 to 10% moisture content. But we still need to bring that stiffness and that strength back into the sheet. We do that by using starch, where we cook the starch and apply a thin film on both sides of the paper. Following that, we need to re-dry that paper back down to the moisture content of between 8 to 10% demanded by our customers. After completing the super fast 400 metre journey down our paper machine, the paper is finally ready to be measured and inspected and wound onto a jumbo reel for final processing. This jumbo reel can be 7 metres wide, weigh up to 60 tonnes and be over 60 kilometres in length. This paper has to be then moved into our winding section where we cut the reels down into our customer sizes. In order to keep up with our paper machine, the winder has to run two and a half to three times faster than the paper machine. So an incredible two and a half to three thousand meters per minute of paper is being wound at any one time. Then the customer reels are inspected, labeled and sent to the warehouse. 